Good morning, Panthers. I'm Fabiana Ferrosa. Welcome to the morning announcements. Today is Friday, April 8th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand for our Panther Pledge. This pledge helps us remember to be safe, be respectful, and be an avid learner. As a Seminole Trails Panther, I will conduct myself at all times and in all places with honor and respect for myself, my classmates, my teachers, my school, and my community. Today's lunch menu is popcorn chicken with a dinner roll, strawberry yogurt platter with sunflower seeds, carrot sticks, assorted milk, and assorted fruit selections. Now here's Morgan for the weather. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Morgan Calix for today's weather. Today's high is 84 degrees. It is currently 63 degrees with a low of 69 degrees and a 2% chance to rain. Tomorrow's high is 85 degrees with a low of 72 degrees with a 3% chance of rain. Now here's Miss Lowe to announce our Panther superstars. Good morning, Panthers. Happy Friday. Today we are giving digital badges out for students who have demonstrated ownership. So congratulations to the following students. Jadine Whitelock from Ms. Payne, Alexa Usher from Ms. Dale Gordon, Deshaun Shivers from Mr. Beeson, Jonathan Galicia Martinez from Ms. Kreidler, uh, Damony Dommerville Rose from Ms. Von Patterson, Kellen Mule from Ms. Runner, Brandon Julian from Mr. Crockett, Jeremiah Martin from Ms. Gray. Oh, Jonathan Galicia Martinez was also nominated by Ms. Band. Mariah Correa from Ms. Cohen. Gabriella from Ms. Germany. Laureline from Ms. Basford. Iman from Ms. Emnet. Louise from Ms. Bickle. Mackay from Ms. Fox. Talia from Ms. Wong. Loriana from Ms. Redlick. Sarai from Ms. Gale and Phoenix from Ms. Dabular. Congratulations to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back on Monday. Now back to Morgan. This week is Days of Remembrance of the Victims of the Holocaust. Please stay tuned for a short interview with a Holocaust survivor to learn how a bundle of jewelry helped her family survive. We also want to wish Lily Dunn, one of our morning news anchors, a very happy birthday. I'm Morgan Calix signing off, and remember Panthers, we are safe. Remember Panthers, roar. We are ready to learn. We take ownership in our work. We have a positive attitude, and we are respectful to our classmates, teachers, and staff. I, I should I should go back and mention a very important story that I forgot to mention, which enabled us to survive. One day in the ghetto, my mother was approached by a relative who said that she needed to speak to my mother about something very important. And so they met the next day, and the woman brought with her a bundle, and she opened it up. And in it were oh, the whole inventory of her jewelry store. Rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, loose diamonds. Um, it was all golden diamonds. And she said to my mother um, that she wanted to give it to her because she's going, they have already called her and her husband for the next transport, and they will just take it away from her. And my mother didn't felt very bad taking it from her. And so after debating it, the issue, my mother agreed to take half of it. 
And my mother took all these jewels and she sewed it up in the hem of a coat, a winter coat. The coats were very thick in Poland. The wools were very thick. And um, when you doubled it up, like in a hem, uh, you, you couldn't feel anything. 